This is why I like doing these. We all like doing them because uh, these guys interactive. You know, they have questions for us. Okay, so this is a good question. All right, he's gonna explain it. All right. Well, we were just having trouble. If he's a shooter, like he was having trouble getting his shoulder out when he was trying to end up coming around. Cause I, every time I blocked off him, we were just wondering how to get around. Like if I'm here, the shoulder is trapped up, and we didn't know how to fix that. So. Rotate all the way for him. Stay right in that position. I want to show you guys something. First off, one of the reasons is because he's so tight on his defense. He's spurring off of the mat. Okay, he's trying to lift him off, which we're going to get into. Okay, so his defense one. Not, not where you want to be necessarily, but in this position, say there's 10 seconds left in the period, okay, he's in a pretty good spot, and he's tight in here, okay? So we'll go right into it. So, your elbows and shoulders buried in there, that's where you've got to create movement. You've got to create movement, and you're trying to create space. Because at this point, you have no space. He's trying to hit the corner on you. On your shoulders here, okay? You're in tight, and I am. I'm deep in here, okay? He's over top of me. Are you kicking into the mat a little bit? Okay. He's in a pretty good spot here. All right. That's where I like to actually take the foot out again and create space. Okay. I actually want to take the foot out. See what happens right there? I just created a little bit. All right. I take the foot right again, right at the bottom. Okay. Here, take it out. When you take it out, now I have some space to move. Okay. From here, look at how low my hips are. I'm way down. You guys ever wrestle freestyle Greco? Okay. I'm basically in a defensive position here, all right? Then I try to come in here. This arm comes out because I have space now. Back in. Does that help at all? Yeah. Yeah. He's here. He's got me tight, okay? I want to take this foot right here. Again, I love grabbing the bottom of the foot here. He's trying to be locked on me. Watch. This will break the hands. When I bring it out here, now it's broken, okay? We're always in a scramble, okay? He's gonna still try to hit the corner here. Here, here, there. You gotta move though, guys. You can't just hope that that position's gonna get better on its own. It won't, okay? All right, Brandon, come up here. He's got some finer points on this too. Um, he's getting pretty good in this position uh, when he gets in deep on the leg, so. He's noticing some stuff that uh, this might help you guys. Um, all right, the first thing I saw was a lot of people are, are like this. This is the complete opposite of where I want to be. Uh, right here, Brandon is locking my crotch or take me over. You gotta have your hips low. All right, I crack that down. Hold my hips low to the mat. You can't have your hips up high. That was the biggest problem. Um, another one was guys are having trouble getting their head in the knee. They're kind of just going from here and doing this. It's not realistic. Um, what I want to do is uh, use my bottom leg. I'm going to scoop this, scoop this leg up for you. All right, you're in tight. Hips are down. You can turn your, turn your body. I want to scoop his knee up. All right, right here, use my knee. From here, it's easy for me to get my head up. Alright. So my hips are low. Use this bottom lead, knee and scoop his leg up. Push it up. Now, now it's easy. Alright. Um, another important point, if you're ever wrestling a guy that scrambles, get his feet off the mat. It's the best thing you can do. Alright. He has pressure, he can use his feet here. Pressure moving me around. I get his feet off the mat, he has nothing. All right. So use your use your bottom knee, scoop it up. All right. Now his leg is useless. Get his get his feet off the mat. All right. From here you can switch off and circle. All right. So just those three points. One. Don't have your hips high. Hips low to the mat. All right. Second. It's not realistic just to, to pull your head back and put it under his knee. Scoop it, your bottom leg. Alright? Oh, and that brings me to the other point I had was uh, with your grip. 
A lot of you are trying to do it with your grip up here. You can you can move your hands down. All right, that's what you want to do. You don't want to do it with you. Want, you, you can't really do the move like this. Okay, right? you got to have your hands down. All right, reach down, grab his ankle, scoop it, head under his knee. All right, feet off the mat. All right, from here he's got pretty much nothing. All right, now you can switch. You circle. You guys got it or you see it again? Which one? Do you see it again? Anybody? See it again? Alright. Hips are lower to the mat. Switch my grip down. I'm gonna scoop his leg up. Alright, now my head's under him. Alright, feet off the mat. From here I can switch across. My double and circle. Alright? Alright, let's go work on it. One, two, three.